Hey YouTube, how's it going? So today I am going to compare two of the most popular brands found on Amazon. So you can find either one of these at the link in the description. These brands are really the two main brands you can even find on Amazon, Walmart, um, in your local stores. So is there one that's better than the other? Let's find out. Both of these hand warmers say on the back that they are rated for about 135 degrees and they both take about 15 to 20 minutes to heat up, okay? So the cool thing about these uh, hand warmers and this style versus like the electric ones and stuff that they use is uh, these disposable ones you can, uh, they're small enough that you can like put in a, um, in a glove and a sock and a boot and a sleeping bag um, versus some of the other ones are bulky enough you can't like slide a glove over it. So um, that's the nice thing about these disposable ones and they're pretty cheap. So um, and we'll get right into it. So let's to activate these you simply open the package and once um, it's exposed to air then it will um, it'll start heating up, okay? So you just simply open it up and this one is the grabber warmer, okay? So that's the one we're gonna put right here on this side and try that out. And then this one is the hot hands warmer. So let's open up this and try that out. Today I have a little uh, temperature monitor that I'm going to be using and um, I know it's, you know, purple, so it's, you know, the perfect color for an outdoor channel, right? <laughs> uh, not really, but hey, it's the one my wife had sitting around, so we're going to uh, activate it and just to make sure it's working, just detect my temperature on my head. 98.7 sounds about right okay so the grabber one i just barely opened it and i'm gonna see what it already is right now 97 degrees so and the hot hands just barely opened this one check that out 90 degrees let's try that again 90 degrees okay shake it up a little bit okay 96 degrees at 96 degrees and I just opened the hot hand so neither one is really getting very warm yet so we are going to let these we're going to let these sit for a little bit and then we'll go from there all right so I've been letting both of these sit for like five minutes now and I want to see um, how they're heating up so we'll start with the grabber one Turn on my little temperature monitor here. Okay, it says 100 degrees. Try that again. 102, okay, kind of depending where you hit it. 102 degrees, um, it's not bad. And then the hot hands, 99 is the first read. Let's try that again. And 105. So kind of you know varies a little bit but you can feel that they're starting to get warm okay and about 10 or 15 minutes now i've been uh just testing these and playing around with them shaking them and so with the grabber one i am consistently just testing it and it seems like the average temperature is around 110 degrees is about uh, the average temperature is about 110 degrees for the grabber one after 10 or 15 minutes so nothing close to 135 but um, the hot hands brand um, is the hot hands brand every time i test it it's only about 106 104 so the hot hands is not getting quite as hot as the grabber one so i'm going to keep sporadically testing it and then i'll come back like every hour or two and then we're going to see um which one lasts the longest 
and go from there. All right, so it's been a little over an hour and I am back. Just wanted to see what the temperature is on these. So for the grabber hand warmers, then it is still about 105, 108, 106, 109, okay. And then the Hot Hands brand, 103, 105, 102, 105. So that's where we're sitting at about one hour time period and we'll check back um, in a little bit. All right, so it's been about five hours and um, just coming back to check them out again. So this is the Grabber brand and this one is reading at, that one's 108, 108 again, 106. And then the Hot Hands is reading at, let's see here, get a good reading, 110. That one's 113. 102, I don't know if that was accurate, 113. So both seem to be performing pretty decent after um, about five and a half hour tests. So we'll keep checking it out. Hey guys, I've been doing this test all day and it has now been close to nine hours of testing, just under nine hours. And they're finally not um, warm anymore. And so um, the grabber model um, outperformed the hot hands by just a little bit um, when you test it after about nine hours it is 87 degrees okay 87 89 and it's starting to cool down a bit and they don't feel that warm anymore just a little bit above room temperature and the hot hands is about 83 degrees 85, 85, and so consistently the grabber model was um, always just a few degrees warmer, okay? Um, seemed to last just a little bit longer. That being said, um, the grabber, um, when I bought these, was a little bit more expensive. I mean, I, you know, maybe by like 25 cents or something um, than the hot hands. So. Uh, maybe a little bit better performance on the grabber, but also just a teeny bit cheaper on the hot hands. One last tip that I'm going to give you guys is the cool thing about these hand warmers is that you can um, put them in just a plastic bag if you want to bring with you and seal it off airtight. And since there's no air in there, basically essentially turn it off and then um, you know, another day or two later, you can open it back up and you'll get the rest of the, the life out of it. So, just a cool tip for you guys. If you got value out of this video, then please subscribe and comment below. Hit the like button and we'll talk to you guys again later.